Hey you guys, in this video we're, we're going to be teaching you how to make a batch file that requires a pin to log into. And so this is the basic outcome of the batch file. It, it asks you for a pin and that's not the right pin. And if it, you enter the wrong pin, that's what it displays and asks you to press another key. Then if you enter the right pin, which is 1, 2, 3, you have entered the correct pin. So uh, here's the code for it. Uh, well, w when you start off a batch file, you basically want to type at echo off. You, you, that's very important, or else it looks kind of stupid. You've seen that in our previous videos. Uh, next thing to for this batch file is set pin, which is basically setting a variable. You can have it like set password or set whatever, and you can have it equaling whatever. So that would be your password. Like now we have it at one two three, and when we open that batch file. The only way to get in is by typing one two three. You could have it set pin equals whatever you want, just like three two one. Yeah. Uh, then basically we have colon enter pin, which is a subsection of the batch file. Uh, under that we have set slash p, which you won't really under need to, uh, need to understand now. Uh, pin one, which is another variable, equ equals pin, and that's basically what it's. With the pin and then a colon is basically what it displays there. You can have anything you want there by just typing it under there. So you could have uh, test testing, yeah, and a colon, or if you want to have a colon, it looks nicer with a colon. Uh, after that, you have a basic if structure, and in that if structure, what it's basically saying is if the pin 1, which is the variable set above, is equal to the set pin, then, and your little uh, back bracket, uh, so whatever pin, if pin 1 equals pin, the, the second pin there is basically what you set above in the second line of the code. So you could have set password, and then you have to type password there. And after that is what happens if you get the right pin. It goes to correct, which is another subsection of the batch file, which is right there. Uh, after that, you have an else if you don't enter the right password, which is in a back bracket else, and then I mean a forward bracket else, and then a back bracket, and then go to the wrong, which is. And then underneath that, another bracket. Uh, what basically wrong does is says you have entered the wrong key. Uh, press any key to try again. And then pause. And the uh, little arrow and then null basically hides the pause. So you can just put pause and not echo that press any key to try again. And the basic function of CLS is it clears your screen, it clears the batch file of whatever previous typing is on there. So if you type CLS in the batch file, it'll just clear the whole thing, it'll just be a blank screen and then whatever you type after that. And then go to enter pin, which basically loops it back up to enter pin, right there. So it, a batch file is essentially a list of commands. So you have to, in the end, loop it back up to enter pin. So, uh, that's it for the video. We'll, uh, be posting the code in the description. So, uh, see you guys next time.